Alright, I found a recipe for mac and cheese, and today we are going to make it and eat it. First, let's turn on the heat, and we're going to add some vegetable broth. Next I'm going to throw in some almond milk, uh, one and a third cup of it. This recipe calls for whole milk, but I'm going to use almond milk instead. Alright, next is the butter, two and two thirds tablespoon. I just rounded it up to three tablespoons. I'm just going to plop that in there, and we need some garlic powder, a um, one-third teaspoon of garlic powder. I'm just going to use a half a teaspoon, just because I don't have any one-third teaspoons, and you can never have too much garlic. I'm going to do the same thing for... A uh, mustard condiment. I have ground mustard. Now we just need a teaspoon of salt. And then it says ground black pepper to taste, although it doesn't specify exactly how much. So I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit of pepper in here. And now I'm supposed to bring this to a boil. So let me just turn the heat up a bit, wait for that to get hot, and we're gonna let it boil. Alright, we're boiling. So now it's time to add the pasta. I'm gonna be using cavatappi, although you can use shells, ziti, macaroni, whatever pasta you want. Get creative with it. Now I'm supposed to let this cook for 8 to 10 minutes, stirring every few minutes to prevent sticking, cook until al dente, or desired firmness. I might do about 9 minutes. I think 9 is a good sweet spot regarding the firmness of it. Let me set a timer. 9 minutes on the clock. I'm just going to be stirring this while that is cooking. Once time is up, obviously turn off the timer. Then you're going to turn off the heat. And while the broth was boiling, I shredded up some goat cheese. And I'm going to add that to the pasta mix. And we're going to add this and Parmesan cheese in portions, and then we're going to stir it up to um, let the cheese melt. Next I have some Parmesan cheese, the one-third cup of it. We're going to add that. Then we're going to add the remaining two-thirds cup of goat cheese, which is basically what's left in this bowl. And you just keep gradually adding cheese and mixing while the pasta is still hot. This looks and smells amazing. So once all the cheese is melted, I am going to transfer this to the tin container over here. I'm just going to spread it out here in the tin, and just for the heck of it, I'm just going to top it off with the remaining Parmesan cheese. Whoops. All 
And there you have it, folks. Now let's do a mukbang. No time limit. Just gonna enjoy some mac and cheese. This recipe works.
have some pretty fun challenges coming up for the end of October and beginning of November. Got a Halloween challenge, and then four days after Halloween is my birthday, so I'm going to do a birthday challenge. And then um, I got one plan for Thanksgiving, and I had to figure out what I want to do for Christmas and New Year's. Well, I have an idea of what kind of challenge I'm going to do for New Year's. But I still have to come up with a Christmas challenge. challenge ideas on my list. Just gotta find time to film them. Halloween. It's gonna be interesting. This will be my first Halloween living in Western New York. Remember. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> my first Halloween living in this apartment, so I'm not quite sure how many trick or treaters I'm gonna get. I'll have candy and just to be prepared. And if I don't get any, then, then more candy for guests for my uh, birthday get together just four days after Halloween. Feel for my workout later today. Thanks for watching, folks. Take care.